Hey guys, you see where I'm at? <laughs> I'm in the middle of the countryside. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, well, because I made you guys sideways, I can see more of your face. Yeah. That's good. Wow, now I can see everybody. All right, you guys are looking good. All right. Everybody's alive. Are you guys still doing the bar over there? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the bar. Teaching too, yeah. Teaching three days a week. Mostly everything's normal here. Like, no, there's nothing too crazy. Zero tolerance is great because um, there's, no, there's no COVID around here. Like, people aren't getting sick. The, the key to, to the zero tolerance is just having a you know strong policy and having participation and and you know just everybody doing their part. People want want to get it over with and there's been little waves of COVID here and there and you know you you wear a mask for like I don't know a week or two and then it goes away. It's happened like four or five times. It's all mathematical. Life has been fine here. I've been traveling around China. I've been doing things, going to, you know, Beijing and other places. And it hasn't been an issue. The statistics started coming out. And really, it's just like, you know, obviously when it hit you New York or something, like, wow, so many people dying. Watching my hometown news, they had to close down the, the parking garage. They have this parking garage, multi-level parking garage. and. They had to shut it down and turn it into a makeshift hospital temporarily, right? To get to prepare for all the incoming COVID cases and seeing people die and, you know, yeah, it was different. And then getting phone calls and hearing, oh, yeah, so-and-so had COVID, this guy had COVID, and then slowly friends, parents dying and stuff. I decided not to go home. I usually go home every summer or whenever something happens, I didn't go home. And then the following year, you know, my father, he passed away, not from COVID, but, um, you know, various old age complications. That was sad to have to weigh the decision, do I go home or not? And now after two years, it's, it's more and more difficult because to leave China is fine, to come back is very difficult. And it's just such a, it's, it's a huge cost, you know, time and money to travel internationally just because we have like a no COVID policy here. You know, that's the price you have to pay, I guess, you know, for maintaining some normalcy, some, some health around COVID. period of time. I think that's hurting everybody, that period of time. You know, around a funeral or a wedding, that you need that time nearby because if I go back home now and I talk about my father and my stories about my dad, well, you know, some people listen, but it's not going to be the same. So yeah, you want to, you want to, you know, time is very important. You know, you want to get back on track and so that people can, you know, be together. It's making, and it's also increasing, you know, it's increasing some tensions generally because of the lack of communication, you know. People need to be able to see each other, so I don't blame anybody for that, but I mean, definitely, if COVID is, is bad and you want to get rid of it, then get rid of it, you know. It, I don't think anybody expected it to be a problem this far down the road, you know. And now, like, the idea of being, it being endemic, you know, that really makes it tough, yeah, to think. Well, wow. as soon as I can come, man, I want to, I would have been there many times by now, but uh, yeah, whenever they open up the border again so that it's easy. Yeah, you can come and visit, you can come here, but you have to quarantine for two to three weeks at least. And you have to prepare a whole bunch of documentation and proof that you've been testing. Uh, and you have to run that through the consulate and then, and then they'll let you fly here. Yeah. And then you have to quarantine when you get here.
I could uh, I could leave me and yeah, I could be I'd be be in my home within 24 hours almost. I mean, it's like the quick flight. I leave at noon. I get to Shanghai. I have like a three hour layover, which is perfect for an international flight. Get on that flight. I'm in L.A. From L.A., I take a quick transfer back home to Reno. I mean, it's so convenient. I like, I it's so easy to travel. We take that for granted. Like I can't imagine if it what it'd be like if if it didn't get back to normal soon. All the other stuff doesn't matter anymore. Like I used to first thing I used to do was like like eat some food or something, get some Mexican food or eat some steak or something. But no, this time I'm not even thinking about that. Just hanging out with the family. Yeah, I've seen my mom. You know, maybe uh, I don't know honor my dad somehow. You know, stuff like that. It's like, I'm not even thinking about all the fun stuff. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's past. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. Love you guys. All right, say bye to football. And Simon. All right, bye-bye.